Hi, I'm Gloria Dittus, Chairman of Story Partners. 2014 brought both a pivotal election and a transformational year for the nation's energy industry. Recently, Story Partners sat down with some of the industry's top leaders to find out their views on the election's impact. We sought insight into what a shift in the Senate means for the energy economy, how candidates framed energy issues throughout the election cycle, and what the energy policy will look like in the next congressional session. In the wake of the election and the Washington chatter that always follows, we're sharing these interviews for the benefit of stakeholders who are looking for smart, strategic, and substantial information on America's energy landscape moving forward. Thank you for listening. Well, now that we've got the Republicans controlling the Senate, I think you're going to see the Senate return to regular order. Uh, which means you're going to see a whole lot more oversight on regulations coming out of the uh, coming out of the administration, and a little bit more clarity of what uh, the energy industry can expect. It enhances the confidence that we're going to be able to maximize the development of all energy sources in the United States, with a, a specific focus on maximizing the production of natural gas. I think voters and the American public is coming around to understand the, the benefits of natural gas. Uh, first, the abundance that we have of, the, of, this, of this resource, and then the benefits of using more of this resource in our everyday lives. Well, I think Senate Republicans are really going to hold the administration and EPA um, certainly accountable uh, to be able to talk about not only safe, reliable, affordable energy and what that means. When you look at our industry, which is largely a regulated industry, it's for the benefit of the customer. And I think you're going to see some more amendments, some more free debate. Uh, and I think that's probably really good to get the views of industry involved in the debate rather than just the members themselves. You know, in an ideal world, uh, we would see the ability of Senator Murkowski to build bipartisan support for a comprehensive domestic energy policy uh, that really does embody all the above. And we're hopeful that, uh, you know, she'll continue to provide the leadership that hopefully can break through the logjam uh, that's impeded progress on a comprehensive domestic energy policy for this country.